Hey, it's Evan Paul, and welcome to another country acoustic pop-up, and this time, I'm not going to make you wait for the music. High Valley visited to perform Whatever It Takes from the new Way Back album. Music first, and then we'll uh, we'll chat with Brad about like the album and what he misses most about his brother Curtis, who left the band. Thank you so much for giving us a chance today. Tap that thumbs up button to show you enjoy this performance as much as I did. Take my heart tonight, still be yours in the morning light. Hey, babe, what do you say? We give this love whatever it takes. I could watch you name the stars for hours. Trace the shapes in heaven with your hand. If you like this clover field of flowers I'll put all I got down to buy the land Swing a hammer, climb a ladder Come on, darling, it don't matter Baby, I'd do anything for you Take my heart tonight Still be yours in the morning light Take your sweet old time I can wait forever or whatever you like Take this long shot It's all we got Hey, babe, what do you say? Give this love whatever it takes If this fire I'm feeling is any indication We're about to burn out of control Ain't no temporary love here in the making I can't wait to find out where it goes Take my heart tonight Still be yours in the morning light Take your sweet old time I can wait forever or whatever you like Take this long shot It's all we got Hey, babe, what do you say? Take my heart tonight, still be yours in the morning light. Take your sweet old time, I can wait forever or whatever you like. Take this long shot, it's all we got. Hey, hey, what do you say? Give this love whatever it takes. That's Brad and the boys from High Valley with a song called Whatever It Takes from the Way Back album. I really enjoyed this album. It includes a duet, which is great, with Granger Smith called World Could Use a Dirt Road and one with uh, a Christian artist, Ann Wilson, that I loved called Somebody Tell That Girl. Funny story there. Brad wrote it six years ago, but uh, his A&R person is the one who told him to cut it as a duet. I think the message of it felt almost preachy for me singing it by myself, but then with her singing it, it felt natural. Like, okay, now a girl would actually want to hear this. Praying Woman is another song I like. This is the first High Valley record to not include Curtis Rempel, Brad's younger brother. He left the band during the pandemic and moved back home to Canada. Heck yeah, he misses them. I think my favorite Curtis story ever was, like everybody knows that we grew up isolated and Mennonite and sheltered and didn't have TV, but I kind of, you know, as life moved on, I paid a lot of attention to ESPN and watching highlights and trying to catch up on what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. Curtis, not so much. He could care less, you know? So one day we're in the Delta Lounge in Detroit and there's just like, it's kind of late. There's hardly anybody there, but right behind us is Mike Tyson. And his manager, I guess, is like a tall, skinny, white dude who looked like a Sunday school teacher. Uh Uh-huh. And Mike Tyson. And I said, Curtis, Mike Tyson's right there. And he turns around and looks, and he says, which one? (laughs) And he's dead dead serious. Wow. I I was like the one with tattoos on his face. 
Subscribe if you like this kind of video from us on the regular or leave a comment. It's the only way we'll know. I'm Evan Paul from Taste of Country and thanks for watching.